I had a 14 year old come to me not so long ago. How do I protect myself from zina? I want to get married. Come on, be a little bit realistic. You got to protect yourself. You restrain yourself. Sabr, sabr. Come on, your day will come. When we were young, we also used to look at the opposite sex sometimes and think, when will I ever get married? Today, mashallah, you know, we've got children of our own, mashallah. I'm sitting on about eight children by the will of Allah. Mashallah. So, subhanallah, to be honest with you, you have to protect yourself. That's what sabr is all about. You reward. The reward you're going to get is for abstaining from prohibition. That's the reward. So not only your salah and your zakah, that's doing good deeds, but abstaining from bad is also a reward. So here's your opportunity. Stay back. However, the hadith speaks about fasting. So you will fast. Fast every Monday and Thursday. Fast thrice, th thr you know, three times a month. The Ayyamul Bid, the 13th, 14th, 15th of the lunar calendar and so on. This will help you concentrate, have good company. Good company really goes a long way in protecting you from adultery. Okay, so what we need to do, subhanallah, is protect ourselves, have good company, read a lot of the Quran, go into lessons, try and expand your religious learning. Watch out how you use your phone. Today, people watch movies and watch this. And you know what? We see all these uh, tutorials. Hijab tutorials are being watched by the males. I don't know what for. Hijab tutorials. And they forward you and say, did you see this hijab? You know, is this the camel hump? Brother, there's a hump in your head, man. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. What are you worried about this thing here for? Take it easy. Let the sisters go ahead and have a peep. But then you look at your wife and you say, you know, I saw the tutorial. I think you need to look a bit like so and so, you know, so and so. May Allah forgive us. So this is why we don't lower our gaze and we don't realize lowering the gaze is very important. Even when it comes to the screen. I know, you know, you always get wise cracks in the youth. Sometimes they say, but Sheikh, I'm lowering my gaze, looking in the screen, you know, I'm lo lowering my gaze. That's not what it is. You know what I mean.